I created this music video fully with AI. No filming, no animating, just a song and a prompt. This is the easiest way to create amazing AI music videos, and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. All right, in order to get started, we're going to log on to Open Art, and we're going to scroll down to the music video feature, and then we're just going to hit create. Then we have four different music videos to choose from. The first one is singing. This is a lot like your typical music video with an artist singing in a ton of different locations and scenes with some B-roll inserted throughout the video. Then you have narrative video. This is much more like telling a story. The characters will still be featured in it, but they won't be singing. You could kind of think of it as more of a B-roll video. Next, you have visualizer. This is just really cool visuals changing to the beat, like you'll see in the example video here. Then our final option is lyrics video. This is exactly what it sounds like. It will just create a lyrics video for whatever song you upload it. But for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the singing video option. Now you have two different options when it comes to uploading your song. You could either upload the file from your computer or you can paste the link from Suno or from TikTok. In this case, I decided to make my own song on Suno which is just a AI music generator platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste the link here and then you could just hit grab music. Now you do have the option to trim your audio if you would like to just by grabbing on either side of the clip. In this case, I would like to leave my audio as is and create a music video with the entire song. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit confirm. As that audio is processing, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to choose a character for our music video. You have a few different options. You can choose from the community tab, or in this case, we're gonna go over to my characters. I created this pop star specifically for this video, but if you'd like to create your own character, all you have to do is click on this custom button and then name your character and upload at least four reference images. The more photos, the better. But like I said, I already created my character, so we're gonna go ahead and select her here. Now we're gonna set the scene. This part is optional, but my song is about New York City, so I wanna prompt it so my music video takes place in New York. So I'm gonna write out a few different scenes. All right, I wrote out three different scenes, but it is important to note that you can only input 100 characters for this section, hence why I kept it so short. If you scroll down here, we're gonna select advanced options. As you can see, we'll have a few more options pop up, but first we're gonna select our aspect ratio. I want this music video to be similar to one you find on YouTube, so I'm gonna select 16 by nine. If you're creating a video for Instagram, nine by 16 or one by one is a great option. But like I said, for this video, we're gonna be selecting 16 by nine. Now in our advanced options, we have a few different things to choose from. We have include B-roll shots, essentially what this means is there will be shots within the video where the character is not featured, they're not singing, or maybe just be shots of New York City. So we're gonna make sure that this is toggled on. Then we have match video to beat. Essentially what this means is as the beat changes, the seams will change as well. Then lastly, we have show captions. For this video, I'm gonna leave everything toggled on. Then down here is a really important part. We have the ability to choose our image model. I'm gonna choose Seed Dream 4.0. I'm choosing this model over some other options such as ChatGPT because it just produces a much higher quality image as you can see here. Now for a video model, you could choose from Open Art, Lip Sync or Hydra. In this case, I'm gonna choose Open Art. Now, instead of hitting create full video, I'm actually gonna select preview storyboard. This feature gives users a little bit more control over what scenes are about to be generated because you could actually make changes to the scenes before generating a full video. On the storyboard feature, we can see the image on the left-hand side as well as the prompt, and then the prompt that is going to turn this image into a video. This is super fantastic because if there are any images or scenes you're dissatisfied with, we can go ahead and edit them before we actually turn it into a video. For example, this scene does not look completely right. As you can see, it looks very AI. She's kind of in front of the car, which she is not supposed to be. I want her to be in the back of a taxi. So let's take a look at the prompt here and see if there's anything we need to change. 
So first of all, it says taxi front facing seat. We want to say back seat. All right. And now all we have to do, we made that small change to the prompt. We're just going to go ahead and select retry image. All right, it ended up taking a few tries, but we finally got a good image that I like. Now we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you guys what you could do if there is an image you just don't like at all. So you actually have two options. For example, this image, it's just not what I'm looking for. So I could either delete it by using this trash can icon, or I could generate an entirely new image. I want to swap this image out for a photo of the New York City skyline. So I'm actually just gonna delete all this v-roll and I'm going to go over to this GPT for C dream since that's the image model I'm using. Now I'm going to write a prompt asking it to write a prompt for me of the New York City skyline. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt right here. And we'll bring it back over to open art and hit paste. Now, just like last time, you're just going to select retry image. Now that we have our image generated, all we have to do is change the prompt on this side, which is going to turn the image into a video. So I'm just going to highlight and delete, and I'm going to change this prompt to now say pan in on the city. Perfect. And now that we have that all situated, we're going to go ahead and click generate full story down here. And here's our result. Suitcase packed, one way flight tonight. Chasing fire in the neon light, skyline shining like a All right, as you can see, there's about one air in the video where it was supposed to be a B-roll shot and this random man appeared. So in order to fix that, we're actually gonna go to edit story. And this is gonna bring us back to our storyboard where we can make this quick adjustment. So all I'm gonna do is retry the video again and that should solve the problem. If you wanted to make any other edits to your video, you could also do that using the timeline feature up here. The timeline is really just a super great, simple editor where you can adjust the duration of any clips if you want. But I think we have all the changes made that I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and select export. And here's our final result. Suitcase packed, one way flight tonight. Chasing fire in the neon light, skyline shining light. As you can see, this feature makes it so easy for anyone to create an AI music video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos just like this.